Hello. So this is a new version of Memory Map that's um, just being reviewed in the App Store right now. It's version 1.4. And I just wanted to show you um, some of the new features that we've got. Um, one of the major new features is the ability to navigate to a waypoint or follow a route. So, for example, if we create a waypoint here and we select the Go To, um, and immediately it uh, brings up on the screen a little arrow that um, is using the compass to uh, to tell us the direction to that that uh, mark and the distance um, distance to the mark as well. So um, on the flip side now, it's completely redesigned. Um, we've got a lot of uh, additional data there. You can even if you change the landscape mode, it brings up. Uh, a, an alternative uh, set of data and um, this gives you all the same information the pointer arrow to the to the mark and uh, distance bearing the angle that you have to turn the ETA cross track error or uh, the perpendicular distance from where you are to the uh, the line to the mark and uh, the velocity made good so um, there's a lot more data on there now, um, but we realize that a lot of people may be using this in, in different ways, and some people are, are using it on foot, uh, hiking, um, some people are using it in uh, vehicles or boats or airplanes, um, and so all of these people are interested in different uh, kinds of data. So what we do is, if you just tap, tap and hold the uh, one of the data screens, you can bring up a menu to um, to change it. So, for example, if we're not interested in altitude ever, you can change that and select any one of these uh, these data values. And um, I think there's about uh, 30 or so different um, data values that you can put up. Or if you you just want to unclutter the screen. You can do blank, and it'll you know that uh, that area is um, removed from the screen. So um, there's uh, also there's you can configure. There's four areas on the main screen where you can overlay data as well, um, and um, so you can choose what uh, values to put on the main screen as well. And and again, there's an alternative set if you're in portrait mode, or if you switch it to landscape mode, then you could have different data on the screen. So that makes it easy to to change um, the data that, that you select just by turning the, the device on its side. Um, so we've got uh, all the go-to navigation. We've got uh, follow a route as well. So if we select any waypoint on the route, let me, um, and then um, then do uh, follow route and then it'll navigate you all the way along that route to the end of the route automatically advancing as, as you go past each waypoint. So when you've uh, adjusted the uh, the data to be all the values that uh, that you're interested in and uh, you can change the size of them as well if you actually just select the uh, the blanked out one, you can make um, the data item larger or smaller. Um, um, so um, when you're happy with uh, the result, and you can obviously fiddle around for quite some time with all of the uh, options that are available, you can actually save that uh, that layout as well. Um, and you can share it through email, email it to your friends or whatever, so they uh, they can use the same layout. Um, there's you can have a whole file of different uh, layouts that you might want to use in, in different circumstances. For example, if all you care about is speed, then you can have uh, something like that in, in uh, big, uh, clearly legible type. Or you can have 30 different things on the screen in, in small type, uh, just as you like. Um, there's uh, some other things that people have asked us for and that is the ability to lock the waypoints. So for example, if you've spent a lot of time planning a route and you 
you might want to make sure that you don't accidentally um, you don't accidentally change it. You could, if you go to the the root list here or the or, or the mark list, either one, and you go on the menu and uh, lock all roots. And what that does is when we go back to the main screen, now if we try to move one of the roots, it's actually got a little lock icon there instead of the drag icon. And so we can't actually move it. If we try to move it, it pops up a little dialog that allows us to unlock it if we if you do want to move it. So that's um, you can lock marks or, or roots in that way. So another new feature we've got is the ability to do a search on the Wikipedia. So for example, uh, if you're browsing the map for a particular area and you want to find out some of the interesting things that are in that area, you just uh, on the search page, press the Wikipedia button and it does a search for anything that's close by where you were, the area of the map that you were looking at. So for example, um, around here we've got uh, some historic houses and so on. Um, so if you tap on them it'll show you, it'll bring that feature to the center of the screen or you can, um, if we get back to there, we can read the article on a Wikipedia as well.